purpose of this video is to demonstrate the basic steps to assemble a standard Valtec Mark I and Mark II body subassembly. After watching this video, you should be able to assemble a basic Mark I or Mark II body sub. Note, the primary difference between the Mark I and Mark II is the body. Mark I valves are made from a cast body, and Mark II valves are made from solid bar stock. All internal components are the same. For this demonstration, we will be assembling a Mark I body subassembly. Note, valves should always be reassembled with new soft goods. First, install the seat gasket into the lower gasket surface in the body. The gasket material will be determined by your specific application, but the most common gasket material is Teflon or spiral wound graphoil. Note, the seat and bonnet gaskets are different in size but should always be made of the same material. Install the bonnet gasket into the upper gasket surface of the body. Ensure that the trim number of the seat ring matches the plug trim number. Install the seat ring with the steps facing down. You should be able to spin the seat ring on the gasket if installed correctly. Install the seat retainer with the thin side on the bottom. Most cast retainers will have an arrow indicating which end is up. Install the plug. Install the bonnet over the plug stem. There are various types of guides, either solid or lined. For this demonstration, we are installing 316 stainless steel lined guides with graphoil liners. Note, if your valve has one solid and one lined guide, the solid one should be installed as the lower guide. Install the liners in the guides and install the lower guide with the rounded edge down. Install one notched washer. There are many different types of packing offered. Due to this, refer to the standard and environmental packing systems for Valtech Linear Control Valves Technical Bulletin, which can be found at flowserve.com. For this demonstration, we will be installing the SureGuard XT environmental packing. The lower packing set consists of the female ring and the male ring. Install in the bonnet with the flat surfaces of each ring opposite of each other and with the male ring on the bottom. Install the packing spacers or spacers. There may be multiple spacers which could include notched washers. Both the upper and lower guide will each have a notched washer separating it from the packing set. All others are used as packing spacers. The upper set of packing consists of a male ring, three V rings, and one female ring. Refer to the standard and environmental packing systems for Valtech Linear Control Valves Technical Bulletin for correct orientation and lubrication requirements. Install the set with the male ring on the bottom. Place a notched washer on the top set of packing followed by the upper guide with the rounded edge facing up. Install the bonnet flange. If the body bolting studs are not in the body, lubricate them with an anti-seize grease and thread them into the valve body with the grade stamp facing up. Lubricate the upper portion of the body bolting studs and install the nuts with the grade stamp facing up.
Prior to torquing the body bolting, it is recommended that the actuator be installed, the valve be stroked multiple times, and air applied to the top actuator port. This ensures proper seating of the plug. Refer to our video, Remove and Reinstall a Valtec VL Actuator on a Mark I control valve at knowledgecenter.flowserve.com. Finally, torque the body bolting incrementally in a crisscross pattern. Refer to the Mark I IOM for the proper torque values, which can be found at flowserve.com. For more videos, please see knowledgecenter.flowserve.com. And for more information on this or other FlowServe products, see flowserve.com or contact your FlowServe sales representative.